Hey there everyone and welcome back to Amnesia the Bunker. I'm sharing a bunk. My bunk mate happens to be a an eldritch horror. Something like that. Um, anyhow, I uh, so I played a little bit since that last video to try and get packs. I I I made a mistake. I realized that I was still going in one direction. Uh, whenever I could have been going a completely different direction. I opened, what was the communications and prison down there. So I opened that. I'm not really able to make any progress down here after this. So I started uh, kind of slamming my head against the wall with this game in terms of not making progress and I was just constantly dying over and over again. Um, so, let me just go down here. I think this is where I saved. I have a... I don't have a can. Okay. Um, so I started going this direction and I completely missed the fact uh, that there was an area back here that, I, that I've never been to. Uh, yeah, I was just assuming that back this way it was always just going to be the same old stuff. Uh, the infirmary and whatnot where I came from. Turns out um, there's a, an entirely new area back here that I need to try and brave because I'm still looking for Stafford. I think his name is Stafford. I'm still looking for his dog tag to unlock his walker because I need that wrench to get into certain places, certain areas. And there's an area down here, so if you'll notice in my inventory, I've got a lighter. I found that dog tag, so I've got a lighter now. And... Now I'm still searching for, uh, still searching for Stafford's dog tag, in which I, I came across a note that said that Lambert carried us back, because I was wondering about that. Lambert carried us back after the explosion, and uh, you know was basically just fine when we watched him get blown up and he was dead. So he turns out was exposed to whatever the hell is in those Roman tunnels. So, I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I haven't been able to find Lambert since then. And I was wondering about that in the beginning. I was like, how the hell did we get back here, if you, if you remember that? Because, uh, yeah, we were, uh, we were pretty, we were pretty damaged. But anyhow, this is the area, and that fucker is already here. I hate this shit so much. So this game, like, to me, anyhow, it's still uh, kind of scary. But having, you know, seen the monster now, it's more just uh, nerve-wracking more than anything. It's, it, it doesn't exactly scare me. It's just to the point where it's it's getting annoying dealing with this fucking thing more than anything. See, I need, I swear, I don't, I don't know if it should have the wrench by now because I had to blow this, the, uh, pop the lock off of this door over here to get in there. For all intents and purposes, Foreman, uh, it said For, St Foreman Stafford. His wrench, or his dog tag for his code should be in here somewhere. But it is not. And I see, you know, the, the metal grates and things like that all, uh taken down and whatnot, but, uh, I don't know, uh, so far, I haven't been able to find his dog tag, I keep searching in here, it wasn't him, this was someone completely different, uh, yeah, this was someone completely different, there's nothing in here, there's nothing, um, so I'm assuming our buddy got stuck a little further down somewhere, but I keep having to deal with this fucking monster. Yeah. Like this. I'm gonna go ahead and. So, uh. Yeah, I mean, it, it still gets me sometimes, but for the most part, I'm just sick of dealing with the fucking thing every five seconds. You know what I mean? Uh. I feel like. 
Yeah, he's become just more of a nuisance, or it, whatever it is, has become more of a nuisance than anything. It's, uh, it's kind of, kind of crazy. Um, and this place is just absolutely burned out, so I don't think even having... Oh, God. He's at that hole. Uh, and these rats as well, so there's something going on in this part as well. Actually, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm going to dump some stuff off. I, I, I shouldn't be wasting as much time as I'm actually wasting here, but... I mean, we can go back to the chapel and just... I mean, we're already bleeding. Might as well just fucking go see what's up. Right? Of course. Alright, well this looks like a joyful place. See, I haven't been back here. Good lord, there's some silent ill shit going on back here. Fucking A. Oh, got an achievement for this for whatever reason. Was this its fucking lair? What? Holy shit. Good lord. I mean, you know, yeah, now's probably a fucking good time to break this bad boy up. I'm running low on, on, on fuel, I'm sure. Oh, here comes Mr. Cuddles. Or Mrs. Cuddles. You never know. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, all right. Fuck. And the lights are about to go up. And everything. Hey, Cuddles. Should I just run into the arms of the angels here? You know? Fuck. It's, that's the scariest sound ever. That's like being on the damn Titanic when everything's shut off. Holy shit. You are persistent, aren't you? Hi. Yeah, okay. Hi! All right, we're just gonna let it fuck out. Take me. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna run to the chapel. And see what we can find before the fucking lights go out. Alright. So this is the good fodder. Get another med kit. There's the key to the pillbox. That's a note. 11th of July, 1916. Oh, that's Lambert. I sit now at the bedside of my dear friend, Henri Clément. The doctor has left, but I remain. I feel I must record the extraordinary twists of fate and fortune that have led me to be here. Breathing. Yeah, please do. Alive, strong and well, while Henri lies unconscious, fighting for his life. It starts days ago, on a night patrol. I fell into some kind of pit. I was injured, unable to move, unable to escape. By all rights, it should have been my tomb. I cried for help, screamed myself hoarse. The effort left me parched, exhausted, and still alone. <laughs> as the next night fell, as I cried what might have been my last cry for help, I could see the stars high, high above. Beautiful, indifferent. And then Clement's face appeared at the top of the pit. He lowered himself to me, found a trickle of spring water there, and had me drink from it. It was cool and crisp, with a strange, sweet taste. Never has water felt more nourishing than that, administered by a dear friend's hand. Hmm. I was saved, but of course, that is not the last twist fate's blade would stab into my back. 11th of July, 1916. Night. Later now, I continue my tale. As Clément carried me across no man's land, fate struck again. A German outpost spotted us. Gunfire. Explosions. Desperation. And as the air cleared, I pulled myself to my feet and saw that Henri was wounded. Blood pouring from his head. His eyes, glassy. He was fading. I do not know where I found the strength to carry him, but carry him I did, all the way back to our bunker. 
12th July, 1916. Morning. Woke this morning and realized that a toy I purchased for my son is gone. I promised him I'd bring him something home from the front, so I brought him a stuffed rabbit from a local shop. <laughs> a rabbit because he thinks he's so fast. It must have fallen from my pack when I fell into the crater. The thought of that stuffed rabbit lying in that crater, rain and weather met in its fur, <coughs> unloved, forgotten, totally alone, lost forever. It fills me with profound hopelessness. 12th July 1916, afternoon. Spoke to the doctor. He told me Henri woke in the night and had no recollection of the events in the crater. Mm. Indeed, he seemed even confused as to where he was. Aside from this disturbing news, I'm feeling rather good. Stronger and stronger. As if the whole ordeal has filled both my body and soul with new purpose. Well, <clears throat> sounds like maybe I should have taken a sip out of that canteen, huh? Jeez. Oh my goodness. Are you fucking with me? You son of a bitch. I got something for you, fucking cuddles. Fuck you. The fuck out of here. Huh. Barden. Good god, man. What the fuck? Holy shit. Like, what the fuck is this thing doing to people in here? God damn. This is fucked up. Okay, so we, we learned a little bit more about Lam Lambert. Yeah. Yeah, it's some shit going on with that water, I think. Okay, so I've got a few more codes now. We've gave Mr. Cuddles there a, a nice warm hug. Um... I'm gonna go into the pill box. Hi, Mr. Rat. Even though my fucking light's about to go out. Wait, do I have to use this? Right here. There we go. Okay. I'll just use it. Right. Nice. And I'll close you. Since my light's about to fail me. Medical supplies. Uh, rags. Um. What the fuck? What is this shit? Where does this go? Oh! Holy shit. Oh. Oh. It's Stafford. Motherfuckers are shooting at me still. Dude, you know. Fucking war. And. Oh my goodness. Crazy shit are happening at the same time. Like, can I get a fucking break? Goddamn Germans. Ooh. I'm gonna have to. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to, uh... Toss another... Damn grenade at him, I think. Pretty sure my fucking... Hey, that makes me feel better, though. I finally got the damn wrench. Awesome. So now there's a few different things I can do. He got fucking shot straight through the brain. There's a sniper out there somewhere. Alright. We go, down we go. Just do. That sounded a little too close. Alright. Yep. Lights are out. So. No, no, they're not. Holy shit. I probably have like seconds. Ignition storage. That's locked. Okay. Damn. I wonder if there's a bunch of bullets in there. Ah, shut up. Is there a way out through here? I don't have to go through the rat tunnel again. 
Oh, just that way. In which case... Okay, alright. Oh, here, look. I'm gonna use it. I fucking missed. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright. Well, rat tunnel it is. Jesus Christ. Well, regardless. Yeah. Oh, God. That doesn't bode well for me either way because, uh. Because I don't have any more fuel. I've got the code for the wrench. The damn fuel depot is down there. In that opposite fucking direction. Shit. Yeah, let's just... Oh, sure, I'll take this out. Let's see. Alright, so I am going to go and get that goddamn wrench. Uh, let's see, why am I doing this? Alright, All right, so we've got the wrench. We've got Boucher and Harden. Boucher is 1067. Uh, let's see, 1067. Oh, more uh, space. That's nice. Is it Barton or Harden? Barton, 74, 71. Uh, you got some pistola ammo for it. Oh my god, it's so dark. Hey, I've got, a, I've got one bullet again. That way. Pull this bag out. Alright, so I've got the wrench. <coughs> I am probably just fucking... Fucking this... Oh, shit. All up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna do the trick. Alright. Tell you what. Let's go back. Save again. We'll go towards the fuel depot. Oh actually. I'm here. I can actually hit this now. Oh I'm here. I forgot about this one. Alright. I don't want to make too much noise with what the fuck I'm doing either. Okay. Alright, so there is at least one can of fuel in here. Sabotage has left the tunnel project in ruins at approximately 23 hours uh, 30 on 2nd of June. An explosion ripped through the tunnel system. It was quickly determined that explosives were missing from the arsenal and the explosion was no accident. After a swift investigation, the following soldiers have confessed to sabotage. Uh, let's see. Gaspar Larue, first class. Johannes Nicolet Toussaint Beaufoy, class. Uh, what was that? I don't know what SDD, SDT is in the French military. What is that? Um, first class. Was it sergeant first class? I don't know. No, it's not sergeant. Jean Renoir and engineer Ozan Zabel. Four of the guilty now rot in the cells awaiting tribunal. The fifth, Toussaint, remains unaccounted for. He may have been killed in the blast. I believe there are others involved, but as of yet, no one will say anything. Worse than double agents, these men are cowards. They scream about ghosts and demons and other worlds. They claim they committed this act of treason to save their fellow soldiers from hell. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Utter nonsense. We're still working to clear the tunnel site and assess the damage, but I fear that any hope of using them for our purpose is now lost. In addition, the explosion has caused other structural damage to the bunker itself. Flooding is now occurring in various areas. Oh, great. Fun times. So now we gotta deal with water. Oh boy, how I love uh, water levels. That is a lot of empty bottles. I didn't mean to put away my flashlight. I've got... I'm gonna drop this. I've got a whole ass med kit. Let's see. These are all empty bottles. Okay. Well, that's all well and good, but... One can of fuel is not gonna do the trick here. So I need to try and see if I can get to that fuel depot. Stop it. I've, I've been charging you. Stop it. Uh, without alerting our friend, Cuddle Bunny. Uh, although I do have a grenade for cuddles. I don't know why I keep calling it cuddles. Because it wants to cuddle so much. So much, in fact, that every time it does, it rips my fucking head off. Good times. I appreciate the enthusiasm, Cuddles, but, you know... Could be a little less heavy-handed. There is no point in doing this. Okay, it's out. Did that actually hit him? I don't think it did. Oh, I did. Cool. Alright. See you later, Cuddles. Just gotta try and manage Cuddles with, uh, with, uh, grenades and whatnot. Did I not drop a grenade in here? I did. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that back up. Hi, fellas. Hope the cheese is, is good. Treating you well. I'm gonna drag a thing of meat over here with me as well, so... Uh, yeah, you guys just keep doing your rave dance. And... I... Well, uh... Try and get, uh... Enjoy some meat. How about that? How about that? Let's see. Uh, okay, hang on. Drop. For just a damn second. While I put this shit together. Pick this bag up. I am going to... Hit this. Go through your tunnels. Be gone, fiend. Go to your hole. Alright. I fucked that up. Alright. So. Alright, where was that fuel? There it is, fuel storage. The fuck do I get in here? Is it just open? Am I that lucky? Wow, it is just open. Would you look at that? Is there anything in here that I can fucking... Oh, just empty bottles. Of course. Alright, so... Oh. Just... Now... Let's try and do this shit again. I'll stand right next to it. I do have another grenade for Snuggle Bunny. Get out of here! Get out of here! Have I, oh shit, have I been down here? There is no... Oh. Dossier. Another rag. 
Okay. What does this say? Every time I take a step, I swear it can hear me. I've crawled into this hole here. I'll just wait. I'll just hold my breath and wait. Maybe it'll go away. If I'm just quiet enough... Oh, God. Let me be quiet enough. Buddy. I don't think anyone's quiet enough for this shit. Alright, so, you know what? Fuck. Honestly, I think... I've done just about all I can do in this area. So... It was, uh... <laughs> I probably made it a way more difficult than I should have or could have. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta... There's a stick. I'm going to take this stick, combine this stick, and pick my grenade bag up. Take it. There we go. Alright. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get the hell out of here while the getting's good. Alright, back to admin. Here we go. Aha! Alright, so I've made a little bit more progress. I do have to say that despite the monster not really being particularly scary anymore, I feel like we've gotten that out of the way, right? I'm not exactly sure what else could be, uh, could, could be waiting for us, could, could be scary. I'm not exactly sure if it was the same way in, like, Amnesia the Dark Descent, you know what I mean? Uh, like, once you kind of get the monster out of the way, it's not really that scary anymore once it fucking kills you for, like, the tenth time. Um, or even sooner than that. I feel like this being the only thing you have to deal with is, you know, uh, it kind of takes away from, from, from the actual horror, terror of it after a while. Whereas, like, in something like Silent Hill, you know what I mean? Uh, you're dealing with all kinds of crazy shit. Um, Resident Evil, you're dealing with all kinds of crazy shit. You know, and it's, it's, uh, it's just one of those things. But go ahead and dump our fuel. Go ahead and dump the fuel in there. And, uh, we'll go... see what we can see. Let's go to prison first, actually. That's the weirdest fucking statement I've ever said in my life. Let's go to prison first. Like, why? Why would I want to do that? Hey, buddy! You still down here in total darkness? This has got to fucking suck. Is your buddy... My bunkmate down here with you? I know, he, he can be a... Such a pain in the ass. Not a very good uh, roommate. You know. Uh, I tried to tell him to clean up after himself multiple times. Oh my goodness. He's here somewhere. Oh, fucking shit. I'm gonna have to fucking ready this grenade. back in your hole. Is he killing the prisoner? Hey, fuel. Look at that. Dude, please. Quiet your face hole. Right. Oh, so you're just gonna... out of here real quick. Oh, it is on my ass. I'm sorry, buddy, but hey, look, at least you're behind a fucking prison cell. I don't have that luxury. Hopefully that resets the monster, you know, like, you get out of the area, it does its little loady thing. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that just, like, completely resets the monster. That way you ain't gonna... Is he, uh... Get his 
Buddy, I get it. I understand. I know. It's terrifying. It's scary. We've got a brick. And this is one way into these rooms. Bitter, bitter. I know. I know. Trust me. Will this work on these doors? I don't know. If, I don't think it will. Oh, it does. Hey, perfect. There we go. Oh, shit. Is he, are you here already? You fucking... You got it bad for me, bro. God damn. Oh! You just broke my table. See, the most... The, he's a terrible roommate. What a shitty roommate. You just come in, you wreck my things. Uh, yeah, after this, uh, after our lease is up, I am gonna ask you to leave, my dude. Because I ain't got time for your shenanigans no more. Okay? You are rude to my guests. You trash my furniture. That was, uh, Italian cherry oak. Uh, thank you very much. Um, so really, was there anything in here other than this fucking map? Piece of cloth. You know what, I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, yeah, it will. I don't know what you said exactly, but it will. I can bang down the door here, actually. Look, man. I, 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 I can't help you right now, okay? Buddy, I've got my own shit going on, you know? You know, I, I've got my own shit going on, and your people are still shooting at me outside. Are you fucking with me? I just wanted to break this door down. That's too much to ask. Eh. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Where is he coming from? Fucking everywhere. There he is. Son of a bitch. Oh no. Cool. Alright, so it, it crawled in a hole and went back here, so now I have time to... It's following me. You cheeky fuck. And my lights are going out. Continue. Ah, shit. <laughs> you motherfucker. Getting real sick of your shit, buddy. The way it just fucking knows where I'm at. It's so annoying. Like, oh, well, I crawled all the way the fuck back down here. But now... I'm gonna crawl all the way look back down here. Like I'm just fucking. Okay, so it, it didn't immediately crawl back down here. That's always good. Maybe. Let's see. All right. No, pal, I, I don't have anything for you, my dude. I'm sorry, I, I really don't. Alright, so. Just. Let's break these bolts here. Alright, there we go. You know, so you, your people are still trying to fucking kill me and whatnot. I'm gonna give this thing a feast. Maybe then it'll fucking leave me alone. Oh, fuel! What is this a photo of? Stuff. Yep. Yeah. Uh. You know, 
That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, pal. And your cookie has crumbled. Let's see if there's anything good down in these cells. That was just a map. Can I, like, trap them in one of these things? Yeah, I'm pretty sure our friend is just... Ooh, goddamn. Ooh. I, uh, yeah, sure, I'll take all of that. Hey, pal. Oh, oh my goodness. Holy shit, we got... Fuck. Fucking bolt cutters now? There's a few different things behind fucking bolt cutters. Oh, hey, pal. Can I have this? What's going on back here? Ah, you little shit. You got a dog tag? You one of those guys? No? Alright. Ugh. Oh boy. You, you just stay right there. Alright, now... There was a few different things. There was some shit in the infirmary that was locked up behind some goddamn... Bolt cutters. What else? Oh no, there's a, s a string attached there. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. That motherfucker. Shit today, okay? Blow up! Thank you. Okay. Ugh. Alright. Are you still with me? God damn it. That didn't work, did it? Maybe this will get you to run back in your fucking hole. <sighs> I can't see. That's more fuel. More fuel is always nice, I'll take it. And there's nothing back here, but the wall. Okay. Alright. Let me get in the book out of this prison. Unless, no. Unless, there is some shit fucking. God damn it. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, I can see that. Update on Prisoner 73014 with the rest of the cells empty. I've begun a program of aggressive interrogation. I hope you, the screams do not keep you awake. He insists that he was a common soldier, that his rank was accidentally torn from his uniform, and that he knows nothing of the Second Army's plans. I do not believe him. I've ordered rations for the next three days. When next he is fed, I assume his gratitude will loosen his tongue. Final note, this work would be much easier if the officer... Uh, wine rations were loose. Wait. Dude, all I gotta do is my door. Where's that fucking stone? Come with me. I'm 
just gonna break the fucking door down and see what's behind the filing cabinet. And then I will shoot Mr. Cuddles in the face if need be. Let's see, so we'll grab this first. And then we'll go ahead and clip these. See what's in here. Alright, let's see. 15th July 1916 from M. Fournier to Delpy. Reynard is dead, murdered in the halls outside his quarters last night, his body desecrated. Given the severity of the violence done to him, Jasinski claims it must have been at least two assailants. I would have said it impossible to imagine any of our men committing such a heinous act. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> but after the tunnel's sabotage, I clearly uh, should have expanded my imagination. The guilty are among us. I will round up the most likely suspects' interrogations to begin this afternoon. Reynard's body is being prepared to res return to his family. He was a good man. This act will not go unpunished. Yeah. Um, I think if it goes beyond the violence of what you've already seen, chances are it probably wasn't anyone in your own uh, outfit here. Uh, but, I mean, you know, what are you supposed to think? All right, well. Another letter. Permission to court-martial all the tunnel saboteurs is granted. Any mercy is to be meted, meted, out, meted out at our discretion. I don't know about you, but I have none left. I say throw them all in the pit. Leave them there till armistice or judgment day. Whichever comes sooner. So you think you got everyone, huh? Alright, well. I've got three cans of fuel. I'm gonna go bring this shit back. And, uh... Start hitting bots that have been chained up. Let's go ahead and get to communication since we've been to the damn prison. No more codes, right? No, no more codes. Alright, so let's get to communications then, I guess. I don't like him scuttling about following me around and shit. Should just leave me the damn hell alone. Uh huh. I see your little fingers. Oh my goodness! All right. Still don't have the key to communications. Anything? Any My friend, after the tunnel sabotage, they've increased security everywhere. I've been commanded to lock the door to communications, but between you and me, I'm going to keep a copy of the key in my bunk in the barracks. You never know when such a thing might come in handy. Kazal. Oh, god damn it. Are you serious? Ah, fucking shit. In the barracks. Wait, I had a, I had a, uh, Clement. So let's see, It'd be on the right side, Lambert, Clement, okay, so it's down here somewhere. There we go. God damn. Holy shit. Dude, I've ran past that so many times. I have, uh... <laughs> I... Didn't go into this fucking... I was so fucking... Scatterbrained about shit. Okay. Go ahead and... Close that. He should be broadcasting. There should be the code from here. 
Farber is gone, and sanity, chaos. We were in the mess, and it burst from the shadows right behind Voice Ron, but Farber was there, ready, practically threw himself in front of the thing, and he shot it, hit it, dead on. The thing retreated. We thought for sure it was dead, but then, not ten minutes later, it came back for him. I heard him screaming, being pulled into the wall, praying for salvation, and now I can hear it moving again, getting closer. I have to move now, or I'll suffer his fate. Yes. Oh shit. Ah shit. This is daisy chain. So I can't hear the broadcast. Screaming for hours before he was located. Tied to the stretcher and is still trying to scream, but all that came out was a horrible rasp. All the engineers. Ah shit. Fuck. Okay. Right, so it's daisy chain, so I have to pull this... Oh my fucking god. Alright, douchebag. Let's see. Make sure we actually hit the fucking thing this time. The officers have abandoned us. They ran from the beast and blew the exit closed behind them, even Hubert. They called us cowards and traitors and worse, hypocrites, and now they've doomed us. Whatever the hell we suffer now, it is on them. God. All right. Come on, pal. Okay, lights, you can stop the shit now. Jesus Christ. Is it because of him? Lights start freaking the fuck out. Yeah, it's because of him. Holy shit. It makes the lights go ape shit. What the fuck? Okay. So now that that's done, Daisy Chain pulled. Should be able to get to security, or not security, communications, and listen to the code. Oh, shit. There we go. Since that was on its daisy chain, I forget about that shit. Let's pull this out. Five nine zero. Okay, Roger that. So now we can go down there. Curious what's in here, but I don't want to waste the bullet just yet. I know, Rich coming from me. All right, so let's go dump our fuel. Don't need to go there. We need to get the hell out of here. All right, let's fucking do this shit. Okay, so I'm actually making some progress now. I will say that this stuff is the enjoyable part of the game. Um, trying to piece together, trying to get to these different areas. Um, you know, uh, trying to yeah, trying to get to all these different areas and stuff. This is this is fun. Like I said, the monster. Uh, it's not all that fun anymore. Uh, or it's not all that scary, I should say, anymore. I, I, it's gotten to the point where it's just more of a nuisance trying to deal with
Cuddles and his rat buddies. Can I do anything with this? No? Okay. Yeah, trying to deal with Cuddles and his rat buddies is more of a nuisance than it is fun. Uh, really, just really annoying, actually. I understand, you know, the game being a challenge and all that fun stuff, but... Um, yeah, this business here is just... <laughs> See? Yeah, like this. I'll just... No, that's not gonna work. Okay, so it's just gonna kill me. I'll try and get back down there again. See if... Uh, yeah, no. I'm doing everything right. I'm not making a shit ton of noise. I was walking normally. He just happens to crawl out of the fucking hole that I need to go into. Maybe I should fucking heal myself. Maybe it's because I'm bleeding. I could already hear him scuttling about. Here we go. Chances are he's exactly where I need to be again. So, we'll see if maybe stopping the bleeding is uh, will help any. That's the tunnels. Watch. Watch him come out of this fucking hole. He's going somewhere else. That's a lot of dynamite. Alright. So, two, nine, five, zero. Right? No? Two, five, nine, zero. God damn it. Alright. In we go. Hey, more fuel. I don't like the way this is set up. I'm gonna have to fucking kite him. Fucking rats are so vocal about. Let's see. I am making noise. Is one of these explosive? It's a damn maze. Feel like. Okay, here we go. Can I just crawl through here? No? Okay. Let's see.
Why is this always locked? Oh boy. Hey, look at there. I got two again. That's fortuitous. All right. Look at there, got the fucking dynamite. Music's changing. What the hell, light? I just cranked you. Okay. Let's see. Anything back here? Like fuel and stuff, meat, whatever. All right now, I feel like he's just fucking with me. I feel like it hasn't left me the fuck alone for a while. Every time I go somewhere, it's in opposition of me. Now suddenly, hmm, it's very quiet. Let's see, how the fuck did I get through here again? me? Oh, I just went under the table, that's right. I'm a dummy, sorry. Alright. He was back there. I gotta go to the fucking tunnels. Okay. At first, now I gotta go there. I am going to go plant these fucking dynamite. Get that out the inventory. Can I just shoot the shit? What am I saying? I don't have any fucking bullets. Guessing that's not how this shit works anyway. So, alright. Alright, now we go to the goddamn tunnels. Gotta clip him. I forgot I died. Or I reset, basically. Alright. So this is there for a reason. Just don't have any fucking fuel for it. Okay. Let's just see what happens. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Okay. I wonder if that's a good way to hide from it. Because this has got to be kind of noisy, right? Move you out the way. Maybe I can scuttle through this shit. Is this a good idea? Oh god. Shit. fucking fun holes in this place. Them glory holes and shit. 
for the monster to come through. This looks fun. Probably going right down to its fucking six dungeon. Right? Oh god, I hate when it does that. Very deep water. Alright, buddy. These are definitely some fucking Roman tunnels. Oh hell. <gasps> hey! It's a fucking save room! Holy shit! Well, thank fuck for that. Oh, that dude's got a trench gun, bro. Where's that at? I got some. Oh, is that what the fuck? Toussaint's Madness. Had to see what the Dark held. Had to. Neuer, Farber, all of them. They don't have the right kind of eyes. There's a world down here full of seductions and secrets, and my eyes are right for it. Never mind that they trapped me here, down here. I've seen. Ha! <laughs> a vision. A vision of a wor gone world. Bloody and terrible. Beautiful and awful. Godly and infernal. All around me voices. The past. Clawing. Spinning. Whirling. I don't know what they want. I don't know what they want. I have to stop it. Can't see anymore. It tasks me with what I do not know. Please, God above, if you ever were there, end this. Give me some way to end this. I see it now. <laughs> I see it now. See it now. See not. See it now. See it not. Whirling and whirling and whirling it calls for blood. Toussaint! Did you... rip your ocular orbs out of your head? Buddy. Why would you do such a thing? Our mad classicist has struck again. Neuer has filed a report claiming the Romans use these tunnels to hold sadistic bacchanals. Bacchanals? Great festivals of cruel combat, torture, and worse. Further, he says these were all held in an arena over a great pit. Any who fell into it fell into screaming darkness, his words. What a poet. I've been in the tunnels. They're tunnels. Full stop. Recommend surveillance on Neuer. Yeah, but... Lambert fell into the pit, right? And I got him out of the pit. God damn, do I have to go all the way the fuck back to fill up my goddamn generator? Uh, this is a fucking pain in the fuck. Pain in the dick. Oh boy. Let's see. Let's go ahead and, and go ahead and just make one of those for, for funsies. Hey, it's a pit. Hello. Grachs. What the fuck? Whoa, there's some wacky ore going on down here. Maybe I'll fucking get some monster powers or something. Be able to fight the fucking thing. Maybe I should drink some of that fucking water I got from the canteen. Be like my homie Lambert. Where the fuck he's at? Dude saved my life and fucking dipped. Uh, oh, it's, 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 uh, Toussaint. Lost, lost I can't see shit. Oh, this sucks. Hey, uh. Toussaint? Buddy? I really don't have, uh, the... I don't have the resources for it. I got shotgun shells, but where's the fucking shotgun at? Damn it. I don't... I, where did I miss the fucking shotgun? God, this is fucked up. Hey, buddy. You got a shotgun? Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's got a shotgun.
Am I gonna have to, do I have to kill this fucking, oh, hello. Shit. I want your shotgun, though, for sure. This is fucking... This is tense. I fucking missed him! Oh. Where are you at? Where'd he go? What the fuck? God damn it. Okay. Yeah, likewise. Hey, is that the fucking plunger? What the fuck is that? Hey, buddy. Oh, I am so fucking lost. Shit. Can I just get the fuck out of here? It's that fucking pit. Oh shit. Can I just drink the water? Holy shit. Hey, he got his bunny. back in. There's no way out of the pit from here. It would just lead me to fucking terrible shit anyway. I'm trying to break it. <laughs> Let's break the game. Can however grab this. And just leave him to his fucking madness. Because I don't think Clearly, I can't kill the fucking monster, right? Let's just, uh... seem to be very jubilant about your time down here, so let's just leave you there.
How about that? Okay. All right. I, on the other hand, would like to get out. Let's fucking go. All right. Come on, Henri. Now's not the fucking time, man. Time to fucking get the fuck out of here. Let's do this shit. Let's go. Shit. Oh. Please. Holy shit. No fucking way. You dick. Did this just drop me into its fucking home? I'm gonna be so mad. What the shit? Out of here, boy! Fucking shit! Get me the fuck out of here! Oh my god! Oh, do not! Are you fucking kidding me? Did he just fall back into the fucking thing? Buddy, I got your teddy bear. Jesus Christ. <sighs> what the fuck? Stand! Stand! Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> what a hopeless fucking ending.
Well, I have no words. Enjoy the credits. Well, hello, everyone. Um, hope you're doing well. I just wanted to take a moment to talk about the ending of Amnesia the Bunker um, and my, my kind of my thoughts on it because I didn't really get to uh, I, I didn't really get to articulate those thoughts by the time I'd finished the game because I was a little <clears throat> well because I was a little uh, annoyed with it by the time I finished it. <laughs> um, I didn't really feel like talking about it. I didn't really feel like, especially because the ending was so f fucking hopeless. I didn't really want to sit and and dwell on it too much. But um, you know, uh, I just throughout the game, uh, just kind of give you my my thoughts about it. Um, now that it's done and dusted, just uh, you know, I am happy that it's another game that I finished on the channel because those are few and far between. Far between at this point, <laughs> but, um, but I, you know, the entire time I was playing, I was, uh, I wasn't really paying as much attention as I probably should have to things like the notes, uh, regarding specific people and things like that, but <clears throat> whenever I go back and think about it, there was that one time, you know, like at the, be at the beginning, I had kind of mentioned well, how did Lambert get here, uh, get back here, whenever, you know, he was clearly uh, pretty unalive uh, during that scene, is what it looked like to me anyway, you know. I guess I was wrong, but yeah, clearly I was wrong. 
And then there was notes uh, later on from Lambert that whenever we were in that pit, I gave him a sip. Or Henri, not me, gave him a sip from his canteen. Happened to be some water from that pit. And it started making him feel, you know, he, he felt revitalized. He felt stronger, things like this. Um, he was good to go, basically. And then later on, you still, we, there's no sign of Lambert after after any of that stuff. But he mentions uh, having bought a stuffed rabbit for his son back home. That ended up getting left in the pit. Well, there, towards the end of the game, uh, I never really get to speak my thoughts on who I thought the monster was after a while. Um, you know, I, I'd kind of assumed it was Lambert after a while, and I'm pretty sure it's Lambert, you know what I mean? Uh, whatever, you know, the, the the water from the pit that he drank was from that, um, was from that uh, Roman tunnel, or, uh, yeah, you know, that, that big complex that you had to kite the monster around and, and uh, hop the wall, basically, to get away from it. Um, he drank the water, and it basically just slowly mutated him into that beast. He slowly goes on a rampage throughout the bunker and, you know, kills all of his comrades, basically. Um, but anyhow, getting back to my point is, uh, you know, I, I had kind of assumed it was Lambert, but my, uh, <laughs> my brain was not allowing me to really commentate on anything like that because I had been kind of slamming my head against the wall for, for about an hour before the final confrontation and uh by the time i got there i was so sweaty uh and and i was getting a little tilted just because uh the monster the way the monster works it, it just kind of annoys me i know it was supposed to be in comparison to something like the ai from alien isolation which uh i don't think it's on par with alien isolation's ai because uh, that's a game that I didn't finish. Alien Isolation, that, that game broke me. The AI actually broke me. I couldn't, I couldn't get past a specific point. And that was a long time ago. Maybe I'll try to do it again, you know what I mean? I don't know. But, um, you know, this game was uh, fairly predictable to get past the AI. I mean, it would just come... I mean, it doesn't matter how quiet I was being, if the lights were on, this, that, or the other... It would just show up and, you know, block my path. And I could hide in a closet and it would just patrol around. It would never quite leave. So that's why, you know, a few times I've had to just run into, like I said, run into the arms of the angels there and let it kill me so I could just reset. And whenever you reset, or if I'd backtrack to where it would do the loading screen, whenever I would backtrack, it would reset the monster entirely and it might not show up in the, in the, in the area anymore. I feel like... The, the the monster was uh, less scary after the first couple of hours of the game and just more of a nuisance, more annoying than anything else, um, along with the rats. I feel like the rats were just kind of like a mechanic that was just kind of added in there, whatever reason. I don't know. You know, I guess to provide more of an obstacle, but I feel like, uh, you know, just the monster alone would have been enough, basically, because I'm pretty sure everything is randomized each time you play the game. So, like codes on the back of dog tags and item placement and things like that. Uh, so no two playthroughs are going to be similar and you can, I mean, you can basically just do without the rats is what I'm saying. Um, cause the rats would like block a path in, you know, specific parts of the bunker. Uh, you think you need a dog tag. turns out that dog tag doesn't have a code on it. They bite you once and you're bleeding like a pig, you know, and that attracts more rats and probably, uh, our buddy Lambert, the beast. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it, it didn't really give me, you know, it didn't really give me that sort of terror, uh, anxiety. It just, the, the, the kind of anxiety it gave, it gave me was just like, okay, so I have to go back and do this all over again. Um, and I know what I'm going to run into, you know, it's not like there's any surprises around any corners or anything like that. It's just the same monster over and over and over again sort of blocking your path in the same way that it always does. I never really felt like it learned what I was doing. I never really felt like it, you know, was uh, basically hunting me down or stalking me. I just felt like it was kind of scripted moments, which I know that's probably not entirely true. I think it, you know, 
that's what they had in mind was, you know, it, it to hunt and track you and things like this. But whenever I could just go, you know, like I said, whenever I could just run back and reload and go back and, and it just not be there at all. I mean, it's just like, okay. So I, I've just found a loophole basically to kind of get around the annoying aspect of the monster. And uh, that's all well and good because I mean, everything else in the game, I liked the way it played. I, I, I enjoyed, you know, the mechanics and I enjoyed, um, you know, uh, for once, I actually kind of enjoyed resource management and finding fuel and the crashing around in the dark. I don't know. I just felt good to play. You know what I mean? Everything was responsive and it wasn't ever really... I, I didn't really run into any kind of bugs or anything like that. The only thing I don't like is whenever you go into a new area and it loads and it like freezes for a split second. kind of disorients you. But other than that, I mean, I liked the way the game played. And I enjoyed the first few hours. Because it was, you know, it was pretty scary there for a while. But it seems like almost immediately there was no mystery surrounding the monster anymore either. You know what I mean? It's like they just throw it in your face over and over and over again. And it felt like it was pretty early on whenever the monster revealed itself to me <laughs> in a specific moment. And, uh, you know, and then after that the rest is history. It's just, uh, it, there's no, yeah, there's no mystique. There's no mystery surrounding the monster the only thing, the only mystery surrounding the monster is who is it, and then you know we can g glean from specific notes that we pick up that it's Lambert uh, because you know he drank the magic water. You know, then whenever you pick up the rabbit, it says might have sentimental value to some someone. Uh, I could have used that, and that's a dead giveaway as well because whenever I, you know I got uh, done with the game, I looked up to see how many endings there were. And people, you know, mention throwing the uh, the rabbit at the monster and then picking it up and kind of playing or playing with it, pocketing it, and saying your name, basically, like rasping out Henri. Um, so there's your dead giveaway that it's Lambert anyway. Um, I also, you know, after all of that, after all that time spent with uh, down in the bunker and doing all this stuff, dealing with all this crazy shit. Uh, getting out and just the ending being there's no hope in sight which I don't know what I expected you know what I mean they're still in a war zone there's clearly still war going on around them uh, you know you fall down a hill into a pit of of, of your dead you know uh, comrades Henri I mean not Henri uh, Lambert the beast basically escapes and then there's German soldiers on the other side of the pit coming towards you with dogs and whistles and cut to black that is just man that that was uh that was a uh, that was kind of gut-wrenching i feel for Henri. I, I really do that sucks but um uh, judging by what i read about the other endings it's not really much different you can either escape without killing the beast you know hop the wall and then the the beast just escapes with you there's one where you you hold on to the stuffed rabbit until that final confrontation you throw it down on one of the wooden bridges to get its attention and then you shoot the bridge with a shotgun breaking it underneath him and it falls and you know falls to its seeming death and then you escape then you you escape you fall down the pit everything's the exact same the germans come over the uh over the hill i mean what are you gonna do you know i guess he could just play dead you know, and what, where is he going to go after that? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's generally the same. It's like either kill it or don't, uh, or you can basically just die, <laughs> jump into the pit. But um, as far as uh, the ending that I got, I feel like it was probably the better. I mean, you know, uh, at least more op uh, open to interpretation. Basically, what happens? Are the Germans after the beast? Did they see the beast? climb out of the hole and run off and, and, and are they after that or or the, did they hear all the commotion you know from the explosions and things like that and they're coming to get you but I don't know I mean what it was I mean I enjoyed the game I just expected more out of uh, the scare aspect coming from an amnesia game this is super long winded and I apologize but yeah I, I expected more of out of the scares from an amnesia game you know, from from its reputation, I you know I, I I am a story guy. I do enjoy a good story. Uh, I don't care if it's yeah. I don't care if it's if it's 
more of a walking simulator uh, whenever it comes to horror. I do enjoy, you know, uh, innovative com uh, mechanics, which a lot of them don't really have because it's, you know, they are just walking simulators. Uh, so I enjoy the mechanics. I think a good blend of what they did with the bunker and maybe what from what it sounds like what they did with Rebirth, I think if they just blended those two together, you know what I mean, it would have been it would have been much better, but uh, maybe, you know, don't rely so heavily on just having the monster block your path whenever it's most inconvenient for you, you know. Um, that's no, There's nothing scary about that. It's just, like I said, I, and I've noticed that as well. Whenever I looked at, you know, multiple endings, I saw multiple titles talking about the monster going from scary to just fucking annoying. And that's unfortunate, you know. Especially coming from an amnesia game. Um, I don't know. I feel like they they had the... From what it sounds like to me, they had the perfect balance of horror and mechanics in their first game. And they just kind of went a little heavy-handed in, into one into one, uh, one, one aspect of, of the bunker. So, I don't know. I mean, I thought it was all right. I liked it okay. Uh, you know, I didn't care for the ending much. It just left me like okay after all this maybe the the first few hours were the best whenever i was just trying to figure out the layout of the bunker basically and uh you know not knowing whenever i was going to run into mr cuddles per se but then there towards the end it got to where it was just constant and it kind of yeah it just pulled me out of it it's not to say you shouldn't give it a try for yourself um you know that that kind of thing might be right up your alley um you know, I'm sure some people love it and some people hate it and some people are just lukewarm, kind of like I am, right in between. I don't, I don't really, it's not something that I'm going to go back and play, even though you can play it, you know, differently and it'll be a different playthrough, this, that, and the other. I'm not looking for any speed runs or anything like that. So, uh, okay game, pretty cool mechanics, uh, decent little storyline, decent monster design it, it's just a shame that they uh it's just a shame that it went from terrifying to annoying in less than a few hours so that's all i can really say about it got some good moments out of it and uh and i don't regret playing through it and we'll just see what happens in the next one we'll we'll play something new see what see what happens and uh there's always going to be more more of these things you know there's plenty of uh <laughs> there's plenty of games to choose from out there so um, you know we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens in the next one and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did you know, like and subscribe help me out um, I'd really appreciate that and I'll see you guys in the next video bye